Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Welcome back to another Schema Scalper video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the funded next versus funding pips. Which platform is better? Um, in which categories? And which one would be more suitable for which type of trader? Okay, let's get into it. So first, we're going to look at funded next. Uh, what we're looking at is the loss limit overall loss and the profit profit targets as well as time limit and return for payout yeah that's what you're going to be looking at so with funded next your initial profit target phase one 10 percent uh your overall max profit your overall max overall loss is 10 percent so with a time limit of four weeks for phase one and eight weeks for phase two but if your account is in positive this is something i read let me just find that at funded next we provide the opportunity to reset your trading journey even if you have violated any rules you can reset your trading balance at a discounted price with these options okay so that means if you violated the rules you get a reset discount of 10 percent But if you don't pass because of time, let me just make sure. Uh, uh, not leverage. Weekend holding. Unlimited free retake. Don't worry if you're in profit but cannot achieve a target within a trading cycle, which means the four weeks for phase one or the eight weeks for phase two. We will provide you with unlimited retakes without any additional charges. All you have to do is to be profitable without violating any rules. So that means having any amount of profit can be 0.01%. If there's an amount of profit, or the way I understand it, if there's an amount of profit and your four-week um, cycle has ended, you can have a retake. I'm not sure how that works. You'll probably just have to contact support and then tell them, hey, um, I know the trading time is over, but I need a retake. Whatever that looks like. Okay. And then, with that being said, there is a four week time limit for phase one. Phase two is eight weeks. There is also a minimum trading day. So that's five days. So one week of trading, which is actually really good. If you're starting out with a prop firm and you're not used to like the prop firm structure and things, this is really good in terms of um, not over leveraging and actually sticking to trading five days or a number of days instead of just trying to finish it immediately. Okay, they allow news trading, weekend holding, expert advisors, trade copiers, and the uh, refundable fee is $50. So that is $6,000 account, $6, account, and it costs $50. So I've gone through, oh, and then here's the also really, really good kicker. Um, all profits made from a challenge account, which means phase one, the 10%, and then phase two, the 5%, which would be, let me just make sure. Yeah which would be 600. Oh. The $600 you made from phase one, and then the $300, 15% of that, you get back once you make your first withdrawal. Is the only prop firm of 15% profit sharing profit you make during the uh, since the top traders to live on our promise of the world's best payout bonuses. So that's a payout bonus. I think that's when you get your first withdrawal. That they add that to your withdrawal and then they send that as well. So it's that 15% of the $900 that you're going to be having. Just make sure, yes, that's right. 15% of the $900 
That is your challenge phase bonus after you get your first payout. So you're going to pay, so this is a really, actually really good incentive. So you're going to pay $49, right? You're going to trade and let's say you hit both these targets and you get a payout of 10%. So it would be $600 payout plus the $135, so that's $735 plus your $49. Uh, 700 and gosh, I'm so bad at math now. 80, 84, 784, if I'm not mistaken, $784 instead of your $649. I'm also not sure how many, let me just make sure. Once you are a funded next trader. Ooh, that right there. You are eligible to get your registration fee once you have funded Next Trader. So that doesn't say once you have the funded Next Phase Three account and you're you made a profit. So I'm um, I'm gonna take this account, the challenge account. Uh, let's see which one. Five hundred dollars, three hundred dollars. 300 I'll do 100k account I'll actually you know what I'll do since I'm getting the funded pips account the 100k account I'm gonna try and make just like 2% so that's $2,000 and then I'll take that money and buy this account and then trade this live as well so that I don't have to then I'll get this 2250, the bonus from phase one and phase two, and then my payout and my refund. So it should be. Two, $2799 that I'm getting back. But I want to know for sure, because I haven't, I haven't seen anybody on YouTube actually say when this refund comes. Um, so they haven't said if it's after your, after you pass phase two or after you have, um, gotten a profit payout, profit split payout. So, okay. Profit sharing. You'll start at 80%. Don't worry about that. Just a 80%, um, 15% from that. If you're in profit but have not met your phase one target, no worries. As long as you're profitable by following all the rules, you will be given an additional 14 days to complete the challenge. So that means, oh, let's back onto this. You've got two weeks, phase one. But if you're profitable, I don't know how, mu how much in profit you have to be. They would then give you a 14 day extension. I don't know how that would work, uh, honestly. But the real kicker is here, the profit share for phase one. So I think um, having this time limit is okay because you still you can still get the 14 day extension. And if you don't hit it during the 14 day extension, as long as you're in profit, you can have a free retake. So this is the funded next, 10% first target, 5% second target, which is normal. Usually, with these prop firms, um, other than FTMO and this prop firm, I'm usually seeing like an 8% phase one target and a 10% overall loss limit. But this is good. Um, $3, $3 per lot commission. Yeah. And now we're going to be looking at funded pips. So their rules, I'm going to look at the same account size. What is I looking at? The smallest one, the 5k account. 6k for funded next. $32 versus the $50. So if you're on a budget, right? This is what I would say. If you're on a budget, you're a student, or you want to do this part-time first and see if it works for you, 
try funding pips because they have max maximum blending loss five percent maximum loss of ten percent with a profit target of eight percent so the profit target is lower and you have no trading days and no trading period also i have an account with them so i could be a bit biased towards them but i think this is good like if you just starting out 32 dollars it's like what how much is a cup of coffee I think a cup of coffee is like four dollars just don't drink coffee for a month <laughs> don't drink coffee for a month and then use that month's money 32 dollars get a 5k account um after you pass or get get the skill get the 5k account pass it and then see if you can make 10 percent or 15 percent and it will be 500 dollars and then you migrate to funding next where at the first payout i think that's where you get this amount so you just do 25k account or 15k account a hundred dollars two hundred dollars and then you wait for so instead of now waiting and looking for a profit target you get your 15 percent from the challenges and your your refund with the profit target so that's like a way to set up multiple ways and then for this minimum trading days da -da -da, leverage and then payout system request your payout on a five day trading day basis five trading day basis 80 percent profit split earns a hot seat da -da -da, whatever process are using my bank transfer or crypto i'll see how that works and i'll walk everyone through the process once i'm doing my first payout um scaling plan maximum 40 percent okay i'm not really interested in this too much right now trade the way you want this is what i wanted to show you using um ea expert advisors you can hold during news hold trades over the weekend um trade lot size as big as you want or as big as the leverage allows for unlimited trading days so these are the two kickers for funding pips and funded next the big difference is unlimited trading days versus this 14 or oh sorry four week period of trading so you need to look at your strategy is are you able to actually hit the profit target in 14 days if not are you willing to up your risk so that you could do it quicker or take more trades so that you could do it quicker if not funding pips is one for you if you're okay with the four week um time period that's put on you and you can handle that added pressure added stress amazing also remember there's a minimum trading days five days so um let me just make sure okay I think that's minimum trading days for, for phase one and then another five for phase two, which means 10 minimum trading days. Whereas with funding pips, you could get your account within a week. I'm actually still waiting on my account. I've done phase one in a few days and I waited 24 hours for the login for phase two and then did phase two one day and I'm waiting 48 hours. So there's three days of wait in between the phases for student practitioner and master the evaluation phase to the funded phase is three days of wait so if you're okay with that and i would say if you're in a hurry which you shouldn't be but if you are um funding purpose is the way to go if you are not in a hurry if you are settled um and you are willing to have this five minimum trading days and this two week um, time limit set on you funded next is the one for you also i think funded next is overall better prop firm just because of the payouts they do have weekly payouts instead of um sorry bi-weekly payouts which means every two weeks you'll be eligible for withdrawal and from what I've seen online, 
they do pay out really quickly within 24 hours and they actually do pay this um, profit share from challenge phase so that's amazing uh, and yeah that's the difference between funded next and funding pips So if you enjoyed the video, um, leave a like and if I missed anything, please comment down below if you have more insight than I do. And cheers.